Hey guys, Karen here. Um, <clears throat> I did another waterfall um, photo folio and I used the Once Upon a Time stack from um, Die Cuts with a View and I went with the old book theme. I wanted to, you know, I wanted the papers, you know, they look old, they look worn, they look slightly dirty. And I wanted to stick with that and turn this into um, where it looked like maybe an old fairy tale book from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Um, because I wasn't too happy that the the paper, the cover looks real nice and everything. But the papers on the inside are sort of dark and deep colors. And I wasn't aware of that when I bought it until I got it. And um, so it wasn't, I've not been in a hurry to use it. And then this was um, a trial run on doing um, a waterfall on both sides. And um, I thought, well, this would be a good time to put the paper to use and see what it does. So I wasn't worrying about it, you know. And it turned out that I actually, the way I did it, I really liked the papers. The papers just all pulled together nicely. So um, I I left this plain because I wanted to stay old looking. I did run um, a black border like around the edge just to give this paper itself some depth and make it come off the paper just a little bit more without adding anything fancy to it. On the spine, I did do a thicker spine than what most people do for a fo for a folio because um, I didn't. Um, the waterfall is on both sides. Um, there's not a pocket on one side and the waterfall on the other. I wanted it to be a, a full working folio, so um, it's just trial and error. This is okay. I mean, it, it, after I get um, the pictures in it, I think it'll be fine. There might be a little space. Next time I make one, I may make my spine not as wide. But, I mean, if I take anything off of it, I mean, it's only going to be like a quarter of an inch. So, um, not much. And then here's the back. The back of it, it's, it's a castle in a distance. And I just thought it lent to the theme of Once Upon a Time. So, um... And then on the inside, I did um, both sides, not a pocket. It was really, I know, I mean, I just know people have to do this. But I'd, I wasn't finding, um, in my YouTube circle, anybody that was doing the waterfalls on both sides. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for it or not. You know, I don't know, but um, that's why I went with the wider spine to make sure that I would be able to close it. And as you can see, as of right now, there's plenty of room in there. I could have actually decorated it if I want, but this full folio is going to hold um, 34 images. And um, is that right? 8, 16. Yeah, um, when you get in like 17 pictures on each side, that's going to start filling out. So, you know, that's why I mean there's not going to be a whole lot more room to shut it. So, um, it worked out. I, you know, I, I didn't know if there was a reason for not doing the waterfalls on both sides or not. Um, because, you know, you see them with waterfall on one side, pocket on the other. To me, that's a waste of space. Um, I... So I just winged it and went for it, and um, it it works. It works. So, and then the belly bands. Um, I've never done a belly band before. I couldn't find a tutorial. If anybody knows a tutorial of a belly band, please let me know. I could not find a tutorial on this. I do not know if I did it right, but since they are working, I'm assuming I did something right because they do work. The one thing that um, let me put my glasses on, guys. One thing that I did do with the belly band is um, there are three sheets. There are two are the um, the craft paper that I use throughout the book. It's two sheets of craft paper with um, the scrap paper on top. And the magnet goes in between the two sheets of, um, let's see if you can see it. 
somewhere right in there, in between the two sheets of craft paper. But then, see here, I I backed my my waterfall is backed onto another sheet of um, scrapbook paper, and um, I did not want to put this, the belly band, under, directly under the waterfall itself. I was afraid um, the pictures are going to, you know, when you put pictures on it, it's going to make it heavier. And I was afraid with the belly band under it, um, it might eventually lift off, you know, between the pictures and the belly band. Because with that belly band under it, you're not going to have... Um, a solid glue down because I do use glue um, but whether whatever he's of you use it's not going to be solid if that belly band is directly underneath your waterfall so I put the belly band under the cardstock um, this paper underneath which die cuts with the view that's it, it's not scrapbook paper that is a cardstock so um, I laid it underneath that cardstock if, if that makes sense um, I think it um, It'll just hold better, and I don't have to worry about my waterfall um, itself lifting off then. So that's how I did that. And another thing with this is when I tested it, um, the the bottom magnet is right there. Okay, um, it's underneath this piece of cardstock. And when I tested it, it seemed like it was going to hold. But once I got everything glued down, it wasn't, um, it was laying there, but it was barely, and I mean barely, holding. And when you stood it up, like on this side, it wanted to pop forward. It wasn't really holding it at all. This side held better than this side for some reason. I don't know why. So what I did was that um, on both of these sheets, I went in, this is, this is double layered because I went in and I put another magnet um, on top to hit this bottom magnet and now it holds. So there is six magnets in this all together instead of just four because um, going through it's just going through too much paper and cardstock and everything. So nobody will know, you guys know because I just told you, but I mean nobody, otherwise nobody's going to know looking at it that there's another magnet until... Um, they glue it down. They're going to feel that magnet there, but, you know, that's fine. The belly band still works. It's not going to interfere with laying an image on it. So, but, um, just anybody tries this, um, three magnets of two don't work. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. And it's really, um, this, these are the easiest magnets to put on because you just drop it. I put, um, glossy accent on the back and then just dropped it and it went straight to the bottom magnet. Well, I knew my bottom magnet and this magnet was lined up, so that didn't bother me. So I did that and then just glued my paper over top of it. And then um, I put a strip down the middle of my spine because it was just a little too bland to me with just the um, craft paper. So, And I really like this. This was the bottom. It's the bottom paper of these two belly band sheets. And I just cut it and put it down and that way this is all drawn together. So, and then I did, is it going to stay up? Yeah, it is. On, this one is a story, um, this, this piece, and it's like once upon a time. There lived a king whose daughters were all beautiful. Okay, so then this side I wanted to do with the, um, the castle that they might have lived in growing up, you know, the king's castle with his daughters and stuff. And then all the other papers, I did do matchy-matchy. Um, I have a thing for matchy-matchy things. It's my world is just happier when things match. But I realize I've got to branch out of my comfort zone, and I think everybody needs to do that. And, you know, Noodles is always telling me things don't have to be matchy-matchy, Karen. <laughs> so on the back side... I did stray and um, I went out of my comfort zone and I did mix and match my papers. I, or I just mixed them. I made sure they didn't match. Somehow I still ended up on the bottom with stuff matching. 
So when I realized that I had done that, <laughs> um, oh no, I didn't. Okay. Anyway, somehow these got turned. I, I, I thought I did it because they match, but they're turned. But um, on the flip side, they're not. So, ha ha. <laughs> None of them match except for the top. I did want um, my top ones to match because they're fairies. So, um, I did want them to match. I, thought, I just thought they looked really nice side by side. You know, different parts of the same paper. So, otherwise... I went out of my comfort zone, Noodle. <laughs> and I wasn't happy doing it at times. But, um, anyway, guys, I really, I, I'm, I'm getting into these albums. I'm really, and I'm enjoying them. I hope you enjoyed it, too. And I hope everybody has a good week. And I will see y'all later. Bye. Anybody has any questions, just let me know.